Good day, grade tens. Welcome back. Today we will be continuing with the number system. We will look at how to rewrite a recurring decimal as a fraction. Just a reminder: this resource is copyright protected. Unlawful use of the content can lead to prosecution. The material is not to be sold or to be used to make money. Let's first look at the number. 0,11111111. This is a recurring number, and we would like to write this as a decimal, as a fraction. So, the first thing that we will do is we will call this number, we will call it x. So, if I have to multiply this by 10, I will have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, You agree with me, right? So that will be multiply by 10 this side. I must multiply by 10 on that side. So 10x is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now you would agree with me if I do a subtraction that the following will take place. If I subtract these guys now from each other, I will have a bunch of zeros. So let's look how that will happen. Remember, we always subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So what happens now is we say 10x minus x. This will give me 9x. And then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0, 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 and 1 minus 0 is 1. So then we have 9x is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, and all those zeros are recurring. So you would agree with me, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, I can drop the zeros now. Do you agree with me? So now I have 9x is equal to 1. I want the value of 1x. So I divide by 9 on this side, and I divide by 9 on this side. So I'm left with x is equal to 1 over 9. So there I have my recurring decimal written as a fraction. Written as a common fraction. So you see that it is relatively easy to get to our answer of 1 over 9 if I rewrite it as a fraction. The next one we will look at is 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 to be successful in mathematics. We look at 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 and we say let's call that x. So we equate it to x. We say the number is equal to x. So now if I multiply by 10 this number becomes 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. And if I have to subtract then the top from the bottom, it won't cancel out as nicely as our previous example. So we multiply with 100. So we get 100x is 12, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And now we see if we have to subtract them now from each other, that the first one and this one will then subtract nicely with zeros at the bottom. So we say 100x minus x is equal to 99x. And 12, 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 to minus 0, 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 to, 1 to is equal to 12, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And remember what we do with the zeros? We let them fall away. So 99x is equal to 12. But that is 99x. We just want the value of x. The fraction we're looking for. So we divide on the left hand side by 99. And we divide on the right hand side by 99. Then we have 12 over 99. And if we simplify that, we have 4 over 33 in simplest form. So 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 is 4 over 33 in simplest form. I thank you for watching this video. I trust the explanation served you well. 
for any help or assistance, feel free to contact me or get in touch with me. My contact details is displayed. And also, if there's anything that is missed that you would like explained, feel free to contact me and ask me and I will try to create content for you explaining that details. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. Share with others.